Oj, 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 Howdy, Wawa. Ooh. Timor list. Fun. <laughs> Where do you even find out that stat? It's hot. <sighs> Facts about X is a powerful go Google. Oh, top ten. Absolute thunderbolt there. Second goal from the same game. Always fun when that happens. Oh, that's lovely. That is a lovely goal. As he runs into it. Beautifully done. Takes it straight to kick off. Lovely jubbly. We start with Manx, who I keep thinking are doing better than they are, but they are only three points off the top. And no all are very beatable. Unless you're the ducks. Fucking ducks, man. Why are we so shit? Have the top four all played each other? No, I can't do the little tiebreak check. Lovely ball. Oh, cheeky that from Mo Salah. This has been a really fun season, this. Top four have all played each other, so all six games are done. That is... That is exciting then. Oh, Messi. There's only one word to describe that defending and it is Messi. Oh? I'm wrong! Oh, the ref is. I didn't catch who the ref is. If it's not an Ellington Casimir, I'm going to assume I was right. Yeah, Randolph Barfley. Yeah. Poo. Never go full Randolph, people. Oh! Oh! It was going so well, and then all of a sudden, it wasn't.
They looked like it was a great save, but uh, couldn't get rid of the danger. Manx well on their way. <laughs> Maybe you get discounted tickets when it's when it's not uh, an Ellington Casimir game. The first of the big four on the docket. Ooh. Kaku the cam. I wonder what ticket prices are like. We should have a look. Ah, no hen. That that is likely to be problematic for Weasels fans. Whereabouts is he in the global tier list of footballers at the minute? Five? Six? It's pretty fucking high, right? 184? Maybe a bit lower than foot 6. 8? 9? It's top 10 though, right? Oh! Chiro pokes home. And there we have it. The first of the big four. Looking to stake a claim. 32 points. Yeah, around 8. Sounds about right. Jeffrey and Mbappe tied at 191 at the minute, I think. Oh, oh, this pass from Reese James is pure filth. I want to watch that Neymar goal again, just the Reese James pass. Woo. What the fuck? Let me watch it. Hello? It's like it just toe pokes it. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> what are these three doing? Hello? <laughs> oh, so old. Had a little rondo going. Oh! Oh, what a save! Oh, it is not the weasel's day. What a save that was. Holy shit. Oh! Mike's chat's broke. So's Mike. Have you been being a naughty boy in, in so many chats now that you've been chat banned from Twitch? Oh. All eyes on Error Prosper. Anything could happen. Flip a coin. You're just as likely to get it right. Sounds about right. Stone Cold Ped, but Error Prosper's like, nah fam, definitely not. Don't know what you're on about. <laughs> well, congrats to the BBC. Setting the benchmark. Speaking of, another of the top four here, the dogs. 
up against the Pythons, Sands, the two starting left backs. Bilva and Alexi. Danny Olmo, here we go. Oh, Danny Olmo, there's no stopping him. Not the start the dogs were looking for. Dominico Barati. Oh, he's clipped the woodwork. Oh, Danny Elbow releases for nothing doing. Here we go. Third choice left back, Tariq Lamptey. Quick in a straight line. Not much of a football player, though. Oh, Danny Elbow again. Releases Alexi. And it's 2 0. Alexi Umaris becomes only the third Python this year to reach two goals. But again, that one was basically all Danny Olmo. The pocket dogs with it all to do. If the results stay as they are, they'll uh, be stuck three points behind BBC. Level with the Manx from one tie to another. Not the tie they were hoping to be in. Well, Pedro Porro. Oh, what a ball! Raheem Sterling, the diminutive winger of the back post. Rises up and nods it in. Signs of life here for the dogs. Can they find the equaliser? Keep their nose in front of the Manx. Uh-oh, Gonzalo Guidesh finds the equaliser. What has happened to the Pythons? Oh! Verratti unable to pounce on the loose ball first. Well, the dogs will have hoped for more at the start of the game. But after going 2-0 down, they'll have taken the point. The third of our big four, looking to do better than the dogs, stay level with the cocks. Oh, we've got a pair of Dominican plebs. We've got Kelrick Prince and Malcolm Casimir. Oh, Malcolm Casimir with the recovery tackle there. To deny Maxi Gomez. Ellington is a ref, yeah. Malcolm, his little brother, is your pleb left back. Obviously, you can't have El an Elling any of the Ellington Casimir graduates because they all be they all get they all immediately have to accept Malcolm Casimir as their brother. 
Oh, the Dominican winger at the back post. Okay, that that is great. That that is good work. I'm a fan of that, George. Maxi, oh Maxi! The first ever loney to score in the Gobshite League. Love that. Big Maxi, getting it done. This is looking rather easy for much and more here. They don't appear to be under any pressure whatsoever. Oof. Uh, the pigs do seem to be getting away with this. The fact it's Big Maxi and not the Golden Ball winner. Erling Haaland. You, you have to feel Erling Haaland would have scored more than one goal given the chances Maxi Gomez has had. And that doesn't include the additional chances he would have generated by being Erling Haaland. Oh, but could Erling Haaland do that? Can he? I expect a thank you note from Peel for sending Maxi Gomez over. You think you think Arling Haaland can win a simple header and score? Well Guess we'll never know. Oh Samuel Gomez! Oh We're getting a big Maxi hat trick. He's had quite a few hat tricks in his career as our as our Maxi. It wouldn't be completely unheard of for him to get a hat trick here. Would be lovely though. Love that guy. Oh, can't wait to start calling him Maximiliano Gomez. That's always fun. Oh, he's at the post. Sinchenko with a tap in. Oh, they've taken him off! Can't get a hat trick anymore. Oh, my God, he's at the post. Your defence is 50% pleb, to be fair. I, wouldn't, I don't think blaming them is entirely fair. Oh, wait, no, it's not anymore. Zhao Aparicio's in. Oh, Big Max, he could have had his hat trick. No. Oh. The jet ski, famed for being great at stopping penalties. Just watch as that one just slowly drifts past him. Oh, Montori off the line. Now, Guillermo Torres continues to be a bit shit, doesn't he? Oh, Samuel Gomes! Puts it wide. Right. 
Well, the two Brigstock teams tied at the top. Evening, mate. Oh, Felipe. Actual Felipe, not fake Ramos Felipe. Oh? Was that Yaki Williams just going on a an absolute charge through the middle of the pitch? Fair play. It was such a weird time to join the highlight. Oh! Vinicius on the volley. End-to-end -end stuff here. Seven minutes in. One for the neutrals. A sad day for the admin. Oh my lord. Oh my god. Naki Williams Avenue is looking real good with the ball at his feet today. Causing problems. Is Vinicius playing as the striker? I think he is. Why did he come across? He is. Oof. After scoring the first, he'd have been hoping to have done better with that. Here we go. Son? Uh, what? What happened there? Hello? Oh, he's good for five or six. One down, four or five to go. Lovely finish, to be fair. KWP as well, getting involved in the link up. SS, take the lead. Desperate not to do it better. Although, even with this win, they'll be bottom. But they'll be in touching distance of a bunch of teams. And that's the important bit. Oh, Vinny, he's made that look far too easy. Decent save, I think. We don't really see saves like that, normally. Do you? Quite an interesting one. Oh my lord, DCL, you're like three yards out, buddy. How are you going to hit the fucking post? Interesting play there. I don't know whether Mount was past the ball or just decided he was taking the ball from Felix. Oh. Oh, that's lovely. It's lovely. Oh my giddy god. What was that? Both teams feel like they should have lost this. Is it just me? There's been so many errors. This isn't one of those, oh, both teams feel like they should have won this. They've both played well. It's they both, they both keep screwing up. You can see why they're both doing badly. No error. Oh. 
Ellington Casimir on the case. He knows what's up. He knows that's onside. Getting that little phone call in his ears, like, yeah, no, I know it's onside. That that's why I gave it as a goal. Thank thanks for confirming though, I guess. What is Bono doing? He's all over the shop. Are the SS finally going to get their wish and find a way to... Oh my god. Star of the match. The post. Is Zaniolo playing as the striker? See, actually, that's fun. Is he? I think he is. He is, you know. That is fun, isn't it? Well, that that was a game of football. Los Eos looking to cement their top half status. The Queen's looking for points so they don't slip into back to back do it better contention. They should be safe. They've picked up enough wins by now that you'd imagine they'll they won't really end up in the do it better race. A win here could put them fully into split contention though. Did 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 Upa Makano not just completely like two hands shove Lewandowski over there no anyone else see that he's not like he just like lined down and fuck off offensive lineman from the NFL style blocking Yeah, well, he probably did, didn't he? Like, fucking Errol Prosper in charge. Probably thinks you're allowed. Fucking idiot. Where's Ellington Casimir when you... Oh! How was Big Big in a penalty box with six defenders in it? How were none of them near Lewandowski? That's how you end up being the best in the world, I guess. All that off the ball movement. Oh. Oh, Tony Cruz. Oh, did you see in real life Tony Cruz really stepping up into the void that Casemiro was left at Real Madrid? Got the first road card of his entire career this weekend. Can't trust the kids to go full Casemiro, so he's feeling like it's his job. I have no idea what he got the red card for. I just think it's a fun narrative to say it's because he's out there kicking people in the shins. Now that Casemiro's left. This Queen's team just strikes me as being a better version of what... I uh, know, a worse version of Los Eos, right? Because it's just all playmakers, but they thought to get someone who could actually score goals. Oh... Tiki Takatawa looking to leapfrog the dogs. Or, no, they won't leapfrog. They'll catch up. They'll go level with the dogs, won't they, with a win? Foyanord looking to 
Leapfrog Tiki Taka Toa with a win? Yeah. Climb back up into potential title consideration. <laughs> That's a very good summation. Uh oh. Is the dream over for Fo for Fo Fo Yenord? Still can't get my head around how we're gonna say how we're gonna say it. Uh is the dream dead? Memphis missed that. You have to feel that their success has come from the fact that Memphis doesn't miss opportunities. He's massively overperformed all year. If he starts missing could prove disastrous. Oh, Pascal's in midfield. No Tadic. Is he still out injured or something? Has he just been dropped? Bruno? Okay. That. Oh boy, if that had gone in. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. What is happening? Like... I just, this guy's a, he's just a fucking centre back. He's a centre back. He can't even place in the mid. This guy, look at, 17 technique, 17 passing. What is it? 18 vision. Look, no, no, we don't want this guy as the playmaker. He's got eight tackling. Get stuck in, lad. Oh. Here's hoping with the massively revamped manager AI in FM23, we'll get we'll get less of them. Cause uh, that one's rough. Oh, Jude? <laughs> Fair. That is that is a good point. It is it is very fun when this Oh, okay. I may have over exaggerated the demise of Memphis Depay. I may have also exaggerated the title chances of Tiki Taka Toa. Oh, Kevin! How did he fuck that? Oh, Tadic is in! Tadic is in! But uh, Bruno's still the ball winner. Interesting. Tadic is no longer trusted with ball winning responsibilities. Why is this a highlight? Okay, here we go. Zlatan finds Memphis. Oh, I, I think this is offside. Feels offside. You know what I mean? But it's Errol Prosper, so who, who, who fucking knows? No, okay. He agrees with me. I know Tadic, Tadic is the ball winner. It just needed a bit of time to update. Classic Tadic. Oh, wow, did I mention, you know, in my Ajax save, I have that left back who I decided to turn into my ball winner because he's great at fucking tackling. 
and he's not very quick, so there's no point leaving him as a fullback. Tad it's one Jude Bellingham's hamstring. <laughs> So I now have a player in my team, right, who can play defensive midfield or left back. And I've only just realised he's called Gilbrano Blind. He's basically the second coming of Daily Blind. It's kind of great. I was very sad to learn that he wasn't a relation, though. No, no, not Jabroni. Jill Brano or something. With a G. G I L. Uh. Maychester not even hiding their attempts to fix this game in favour of their sister team. Oh no! We've conceded a penalty! Whatever will we do? Top 10. First goal scorer. It's a classic. El Capitan with the star. That is fun. So it looks like we're going into next week with just the three-way tie. And, somewhat impressively, it is the three teams that everyone said were good. It felt like there was three very good teams, and then everyone else. And, uh, top ten. Hello? How, you, how did you not score? What the fuck? Um... At the start of the year, everyone had the same top three. BBC, Barcelona, much and more. And, 16 games in, over halfway through the season. Oh my god, Ander the Manda Herrera. Didn't he come on at half time? No, he was obviously on from the beginning, because he got booked in 40 seconds. Evening, <laughs> oh yeah, evening again from H. You've made no attempts to hide the match fixing here, mate. It, it is beautifully done. Great finish from Angel Correa. Barcelona in no real rush here, knowing that Manchester already given them the win. Don't want to make it uh, too obvious by making it too big of a win. Whoa, 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 whoa! whoa. That's not true, Wamba. They they created a, an incredible goal scoring goal scoring opportunity for Barcelona. Barcelona back to winning ways after dropping points the last few games. These long highlights that don't result in anything in a game that's so thoroughly wrapped up tedious. 
Like, do we really need to see Barcelona dicking around with it at the back? Fair play. That was a decent finish. But again, it does feel like Maychester just don't care. Maychester have got their feet up. They're like, on to the next one. They're already on the beach, as it were. Despite the fact we've only just crested the halfway point of the season. Barcelona finally cutting in on to the fact that they just aren't trying. Pick up a couple goals, pad some stats, and on to the next one. Ah, oh, the ducks. Let's watch us be shit. Not sure what happened there, but it definitely defied physics. Oh, Duvan's throwing himself on the floor. This is why we got you, Ronnie. Don't fuck this up. Don't fuck this up, Ronnie. This is the, the main reason we picked you. Oh, beautifully done. Beautifully done. Nice of running to score a goal that matters rather than the third in a 3 0 win or a consolation goal in the 95th minute. Oh, Kimmich's back. Alba's back. We're basically full strength. See how well we can defend. Uh, okay. A win for the Ducks puts them in the split conversation. That is a fun conversation to be in. They might, I think they might have upped it. I guess. Oh! What a save! Emmy Martin is making a save, denying Crawford the free kick goal. No, I guess penalties are just worth 0 0.84. They might have changed it before and we've just never realised. Like, it's not very often a penalty is the first shot for a team. You care? Oh, what a goal! I'll do wonders for his XG conversion because his XG on that is minuscule. Oh, my mind's calling me two seconds.
we weren't freeing a lot, were we? Oh, Emmy Martinez! What a save! Amy Martinez, why don't you have... Well, he does have hands. And he used them to save a fucking pen. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> from inside his own half. Is that the first ever own half goal we've had? <gasps> oh, Ro Ronnie scoring the third to make it 3-0. A classic. He fucking loves this shit, doesn't he? <laughs> Scrappy as hell. <laughs> um. Whoo. Uh, okay. Once more for the road. <laughs> what? <laughs> What's he doing? <laughs> also, what was Mbappe doing? Like, if we just ignore the... <laughs> what was... I, d I don't understand what he's attempting to achieve with that. <sighs> Did he just know Emmy Marcel was going to shit the bed? Anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, we, won. we won. We're gonna make the split. Mike, Mike, motherfuckers. I'm kind of excited by the possibility of the Ducks making the split, but the Pythons missing it. I think that'd be very fun for me. Because of the uh, Big Bo Svensson saga. Yeah, but obviously I drafted my team to be a Bo Svensson team. You get Bo Svensson and miss. I have to make do with so some idiot uh, who plays the same formation but a completely different style but sneak in. Not because I, I just hate you ever, and I just want to rub it in your face when I make the split and you don't. <laughs> How has that gone in? <laughs> Why is that so bad? <laughs> oh yeah, cup winner. Pablo Machin has more cup wins than the Ducks, to be fair to him. Definitely should be putting more respect on his name. He's also a manager that, when I saw him, it did shock me I hadn't drafted him before. He plays my two favourite formations. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm sure... Mitch has done great work for me. Admittedly, generally only when I bring him in. And there was that one time where he did ruin everything. Maybe the Lucheskis are a bit shit. How did Razvan do in his first year when I drafted him to replace Mucha the first time around? Terribly, okay. Razvan being shit doesn't surprise me, right? He is, he's kind of, okay. But he's making it work here. Yeah? He's bounced back. Javas getting it done. Love that guy. Javas and Lukaku getting it done for a Luchescu. What is this? Cycle two ducks? I don't know if I actually ever got Lukaku in cycle two. No, no one check. Oh, so Rasvan's all right. That's that's pretty good. If you come in for a manager that's been sacked, and you win almost half your games, win more than you lose. 
That's pretty good. It felt true. Yeah, I definitely believed it. Not sure about this decision, though. You're only winning by one. And I don't think your team are actually good at defending, even with this. Uh, Mate, the Sir's defence literally sleeping at the wheel. Why am I saying you were lucky to get a draw to Calvin there? I'm not sure if I agree with that. Fair, fair, fair. But also, I don't know if that's true, given his comment the other day when I started calling out Juan Foyf as the starting right back. He did comment later on saying that Pedro Porro was his intended start. So I think he might watch the dogs games. And he messaged me the other day telling me that my VODs weren't showing on Twitch. So... Better watch yourself there, Warmer. Calvin will see that. <laughs> oh, Fakir at the near post. I like to think every time Fakir scores a goal like that, he glares Benzabar down. Just like, see? How fucking hard is it to kick the ball into the back of the net? Oh, Alvarez to Tammy. Oh, dear. Mate, how many times are we at the post today? Is that the 9th? The 10th? 15th? Oh, good tracking back there from Jeffrey. Is Larry Lucas playing right back? Mate. The Elves manager fucking hates Ricardo Pereira, doesn't he? Oh! How's that snuck in? Benzema's great. Oh, Pereira's still injured. Okay. And where's Nordi at? Is Nordi injured as well? Suspended? Oh, Tilva. Restoring the L. Oh my god, we're only 18 minutes in. Fuck me. Oh, it's looking like a pretty clean split at the minute. A three-point gap between 11th and 12th. Ah, so Python's... Uh, two points lower. Okay. That brings the split far more achievable for the bottom team. Sorry, for the for twelve down. No pen. Not like a pen to me, but uh, what do I know? Uh, 
Julian? 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 Hello? What are you doing? Someone quickly reminded him of the offside rule. Oh, just about kept it out. Benzema's average range is only going up. Another big day for the Frenchman, who's got an assist. Good job he looks to pass rather than score, isn't it? Ah, everyone's favourite left back, Granite Shaka. One last throw of the surreal dice. There we go, Tony Gordon. Jeffrey Weir, looking for anyone to pass to. Jorginho. Oh, Tony Gordon. Finds the top corner. And the elves have shit the bed. And here we have it. Elves and Pythons on 22. Manchester and Ducks on 21. <laughs> It'll be a fun race to the split. Obviously there's still, what, five games to go till the split? What can happen? Three-way tie at the top. The SS five points adrift at the bottom. Bless. They're just a bit shit. Right then. Uh, save that. Oh, a, a little Flash Gordon reference there from George Cheeky. Right, I'm going to leave you. Be good. Much love. And I will see you on the flip side. Toodaloo.